Okay, this is lesson seven, character animation. And uh, now we're gonna look at the walk cycle. And so we're gonna start, this is gonna, these are gonna be our poses. So we're gonna um, take our character rig and now we're gonna pose him um, for about every 10 frames. So each one of these is going to be like a keyframe. Each pose will be a keyframe. So we'll have a keyframe on, on uh, here you can see this on frame one. So this will be our pose on frame one. This will be our pose on frame 10. This will be our frame 20. And this one will be on our frame 30. Now frame 40, we're gonna need to go back to, in order to make this loop, we're gonna go back to this first frame. So this will be the first frame and frame 40. That, and that's to get it to loop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to get each one of these poses to look similar to this in order to kind of get a walk cycle. Okay. So I'm going to I'll kind of keep this here on the side so you can kind of see how I'm looking. So I'm going to start here on frame one. Oh, and let's give ourselves 40 frames. So click on frame 40. Right click, insert frame. I'm gonna go back and show uh, show my pose because that's how I want to get my pose to look for on frame one. So we got this arm coming forward, and I'm gonna shift, select his arm just to bend it a little bit, and then I'm gonna select his hand and bend it a little bit forward. I'm gonna grab this hand, I'm going to pull it, pull it back here. I think it went something like this. Well, looks like that hand kind of went down underneath. And so this one kind of bends forward that way, it goes here, goes up. I'll just move this hand a little bit. We hit shift. So I'm shift selecting the hand. Okay. I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower. Okay. Now we want to pose our legs. So I'm going to, I'm going to click off here so you can kind of see it. Um, I'm going to, yeah, let's see. You know, keep his hips about there. Now I'm going to shift select his his right leg, move it out. I'm going to kind of make his leg straight. What about that? It looks pretty good. Now I'm going to move his other leg kind of a little bit straight, going that way. I should zoom in on his legs a little bit. And this foot's going to be flat on the ground because this is going to be our leg that's planted. This leg's going to probably kind of come over here and plant and move, and then it comes up and then plants and moves. So right now it's planted. Okay, actually we could um, we're gonna bring this down slightly. Okay. Now once again, I don't know if I can't remember if I said this, but frame one and I believe this will be frame twenty. Those are gonna be the same. So we're gonna want to get these to look pretty similar. You can see everything almost looks the same except the it, everything is an opposite. So this this arm now is in the back pose. So that's the back pose, which doesn't look right. So this one here is back here. This foot here has moved to over here. And this leg here is in the back now. So it's, it's all the same pose, it's just in, rever it's in reverse. 
Okay, so let's I have this on frame 40. So I'm going to copy that frame. Select that frame, right click, I'm going to copy pose. I'm going to go to my frame, my first frame, right click, and at the very bottom you can't see it, but it's I'm going to go paste pose. So now I've got one pose throughout the whole thing. And I'll probably go back and change this later in case I have to change anything. Because I always have to make sure these two are the exact same so the, so, so it loops correctly. Okay. So I lost... Lost my... Uh, there he is. Okay, so now we want to go with, now I'm going to try to see if I can go to frame 20, since this is going to be a similar pose. Okay, that's 21, so let's move over to 20. All right, we're going to kick this, this one out. So it has kind of the same angle as this one. I think this leg's going to come a little bit forward. Yeah, like that. Now that and then this, I'll go back to this leg here. And I'm, I'm when I select when I select this, I'm also hitting Shift. I forgot to say that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing Shift, and then on that, on that upper part of the leg and then moving it. So I'm doing shift or I'm, I'm clicking and I'm, I'm hitting shift and then I'm clicking and dragging on the foot and moving it. So let's go back to our frame one and compare. So I got this frame, so I got this leg in front planted. So now that leg in the back is planted. Back to frame one, this one's kicked out and angled. So this one now is kicked out and angled. Uh, I might move this leg up just a little bit. Okay. All right, so now we want to go to our frame uh, 10. And so now that front leg is going to go up, up and over, because this is the light that, that's, it's being, um, it's picking up where the other, whereas the other leg is planted. Let's go to frame 10. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring this guy up and I'm, once again, I'm clicking on the leg and shift Selecting, so I'm, I select the le I select that part of the leg. And I'm hitting my shift, and then I'm clicking and dragging. Something like that. So look at here. Yeah, we got so this guy going up. This one's coming down, and then straight across. Now we want that back leg. It's kind of going kind of. Kind of at an angle down this way. So we'll, we'll bring this. So let's select this part of the leg. Shift, move it to the right. Something like that. So it doesn't look quite the same. This leg on, on the model looks like it's probably moved over a little bit on the. Uh, that's probably because of how the rig is built. Okay, so once again, I want this frame, frame 10, to kind of match up frame 30. Right now, I'm just going to do legs. I'll go back to the arms. So we'll go 10. And where was I? And 10 and 30. So that back leg. 
It's going to be kicked out. One, ten, twenty. So wait, this one's thirty, right? So th I'm sorry, this one's thirty. So that one's kicked up. That back leg is picking up and going forward, and then this one's planted. So let's go to 30, 30, 30. So this one's going to be planted. Let's move that one back a little bit. Select that, move it up. So let's look at here. So we're looking at this frame right here. That is legs. So you can kind of see his. Well, I guess they have their his back leg back a little bit farther. Let me go back to my ten. Yeah, it is back. It is kind of angled a little bit back. So let's. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that with this one too. And look back. Straighten that up. Compare our 10. So back down, angled, up. Let me see how high my that's about my angle on that on that leg. Let me go look at my angle on this one. Right there. Okay. How's that looking? Not too bad. Let's let's, uh, let's hit our loop to play. Okay, that's not too bad. Looks a little sticky. Okay, now let's look at our arms. You know, what? I also want to move my hips a little bit. So I think my hips are staying the same. Let me. Let me move on my 10. Let me move my hip. And let's angle it down. And you know what? Let's put this one up and straight. Down 20, up and straight. That looks good. Bring this one down and angle it a little bit, not that much. I'm gonna hit shift, angle it, keep sliding up, angle it down a little bit like that, maybe. So now I gotta straighten up my legs. Do that with 30 again. So I'm gonna angle his hips, straighten the feet up a little bit. I didn't throw it too much out of a whack. Boy, that one, that 10 looks up so much higher than the 20. Oh yeah. Let's move that up. Whoop. Let's look at that 1, 20. One twenty. That's pretty close. And there you can kind of see the hips go down. See they go down, up, down, and they should go back up again. Let me, let me copy that. Right click, copy pose. Right click, paste pose. We'll do a quick play. Oh boy, that last that last foot kind of yeah, kind of stays are kind of long, but oh well. All right, let's try the arms now. Okay, so on our frame one, I think we got our hands already. So we're gonna go look. We'll go look at our frame twenty arms, and they're gonna kind of go in the opposite. 
So let's go 20. I'm just going to select this one, kind of move it back there. Let me grab this one so I, since I can't see it. So 20. Looks pretty. Let's bring that arm back a little bit. I'll move his arm upward. Let's frame one, twenty, one, twenty, one. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now let's go over frame ten. And our frames, our arms are going to be down quite a bit. Okay, so let me grab this one. I'm going to bring it down. See his hand over there. Bring this guy's down, hand down. Okay, we'll give it a little bit of a bend. A little bit different than this one pose. I know even in the book it does say try different poses. I know right now we're just kind of copying. And, and then we'll switch it up. I think, I think I'm going to switch these hands. I'm going to put this one over here and then this one in. So I'll bring this one forward a little bit on frame 30. So kind of about there. And I'll bring this one where it's back. A little bit. I think that's how I want it. So 10. Let me see. So it's coming down 30. So 10, 30. Okay. And then we also want to move our monkey's head. And I'm going to do that on 10. Let's do a fit to window. Let's just move the head just slightly down slightly on 10 and then we'll do 30 also. And let's make sure our first frame copy pose is the same as our last frame. Right click paste pose and it looks like it was already done. Okay, let's do loop. And there you have an, an animated walk cycle.